Welcome friends, welcome back to the homestead. Today I'm going to look at paper pot making. Um, a couple of days ago I put a, um, some pictures up on Instagram of um, the paper pot making for seedlings and one of our um, followers, Biking with Joan, uh, said any chance you could make a video and I said sure, no problem. So here we are and um, so this paper pot making is for seedlings so that you can um, plant them in the ground and then obviously the, uh, the paper pots themselves are made from old newspaper and they just dissolve like they would do in compost. So I'm going to show you how to make them and how easy it is and how quick. Uh, so let's get on and do that. So to start the paper pot making you of course will need a paper pot maker. Um, this comes from Botanico, a company. Um, to be honest we bought it um, for our, um, my mother-in-law many years ago and never got used and got forgotten about. We've only just found it again. Um, so whether this company's still in business, I don't know. Other paper pot makers are available, I'm sure, um, but that's this one. Um, it's it's um, two bits of wood, a base and a, and a stamp, and then um, when you make it, you, you twist them together. A very easy process. I guess you get it from gardening center or DIY store or something like that or online. Um, you're gonna need some newspaper and you'll need um, a knife or a pair of scissors and a tape measure. Now um, for the size of the pots that I want I'd worked out that this new this newspaper splits into five equally and it splits into five about eight and a half centimeters which is what uh, for my American friends three and a half three and a quarter inches something like that. Um, so you'll get nice nice five equal strips to make the paper pots with out of this and I've got a few sheets here um, so um, let's get on and do that so first of all I'm just going to split the sheets up as these are from the center of the um, newspaper there we go um, perfect doesn't have to be really exact um, and then I'm just going to measure out, I'll just use the scissors just to mark eight and a half, I guess I could use a pencil but there we are, eight and a half, eight and a half, or thereabouts, eight and a half, eight and a half, super. So that's that done and then just roll them up, fold them over at the equal measurements. Take your knife. And we'll just cut down there to make those strips. Put those aside. Make sure they don't blow away. Get our next lot. Obviously this is a sort of job maybe could be done in winter ahead of spring normally. Fun for all the family on those long winter nights. Depends how big your place is, how much seed, how many ceilings you need. But this can be used for pretty much anything I would have thought. Um, some some might need potting up into bigger, I don't know whether a bigger one's available or oh, not. I might have to look at that online actually. Um, I haven't seen these over here in Latvia so um, I think we got it in, in the UK when we were over there and, and brought it over with us. But different sizes might be handy. So there's all those. Don't need a tape measure anymore. Don't need our knife. So, take your strip, roll it round, not too tight, because if it's too tight, it's really difficult to get it off the actual maker. So I've rolled it round. Depending on whether you're left-handed or right-handed, you'll, you'll find which way is easier. Um, then I just sort of scrunch it in like that. 
and twist and then that just pulls off like that and that, that's one paper pot made very easy twist around sort of deliberate like I say deliberately making it a bit loose and then that should sometimes they just need a little tug there we go twist around Crunch in, twist, done. Of course, the great thing about this is it's really environmentally friendly. Um, the seedling trays that you can get over here anyway uh, are very thin and they probably won't last maybe the last two years one or two years and then they need to be thrown away and you have to buy new ones um, there are better ones available but we can't get them over here um, so this makes a much better sense really um, in the long run we, you know this is wood it's newspaper that otherwise would be composted um, and, and or you know burnt or whatever um, so it's it's a, it's a win-win all round really I don't know how much these are, I guess about £10, something like that, is that £12, $13. Um, so yeah, that's that's the paper pots really. Um, I'm going to get on and make a load more now, and then later on I'll show you a load finished. And, um, and I did a load the other day um, when I took the photos, and I put some Swedes in there. So I'll show those at the end. Um, they're not come out yet, but um, they will do in a few days, I'm sure. But anyway, let's get on with the, with the rest. So um, that's the paper maker, as you can see, in no time at all. I've made a, um, 30 or so, and um, most of them go in the tray. I've got a few spare. Um, all I need to do now is put some compost in here and, and sow the seeds and water it. And um, they, these stay together well in, in a tray. Um, and when you go to plant them, they don't fall to bits. It's quite handy. And they will do when they're in the ground, obviously. So I hope you found the video helpful. Um, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed then please consider subscribing and hit that bell to make sure you know when we next bring a video out so um thanks for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video bye for now